All right, guys, what's up? You on here to bring you a really quick video talking about the new update notes we got. Um, so we have 4.6 coming up, and our first thing is Divine Codes for next month, which are going to be Summer Robin, Summer Innis, Bandage, Swordbreaker, Attack Smoke, Brazen Attack Defense, and Deathblow, which is a pretty good lineup. Uh, what's really nice about Robin here is she has Lance Valor, and I know a lot of people would definitely want that, and uh, who didn't really spend too many orbs to get her, so yeah, that's super nice. Um, I already have her, but you know, I really appreciate the merge anyway because I have fun using her. Uh, Summer Innis has what a beach banner, I think, and some faint skill. I think that's all that he had that was really notable, so nothing too crazy there. Beach banner is like plus two all stats when you initiate, so I guess it's all right uh, for like budget build or something. I don't know. I might dump it on like a 4 star plus 10x unit that's arena bonus. Perhaps. I don't know what I'll do with it. Uh, the 4 stars are pretty solid here. I'm personally going to go for attack smoke because, you know, I have plenty of the other fodder and attack smoke is always going to be relevant, I think. So, definitely going to go for that Kaze. Uh, next for the juicy refinery update, we got some really cool stuff here. So, we got Murr, Drog, uh, Donald, and Clarice. A uh, couple of pretty high demand units we got here. Um, so for Mer, like she's getting a great flame refine. I think this is like really really good because she was re she like suddenly just fell off the face of the earth. Like she was super good when she first came out, and then like at some point like defense power creep got too much, like BST power creep and all that. So her weapon is just like really hard to pull off nowadays. And there's also the things such as no follow up. So like she just fell off the face of the earth. So I'm really glad to see this uh, coming here. Really excited to see what she'll get. Uh, probably enemy phase oriented skill, obviously. Um, I don't know, I hope it's just not like spectrum buffs that they always give, but maybe like a steady breath type of effect would be really good. Uh, she, it definitely needs like a defense boost too. So uh, maybe like, hmm, I'm not sure. Um, I forget if her weapon is based on start of combat or not. Uh, it should be start of combat because it's based on uh, it revolves around follow-ups. But yeah, more defense and maybe cooldown effect related effect would be really cool. Or built-in IO shield would be even really good. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I have one at plus two, I think. And she just is not being used much anymore. So this is a welcome change. Uh, Drog is getting the Stalwart Sword. So I'm expecting this to go along the lines of the Weighted Lance. Uh, probably something like to go along with Fighter Skills again or something like that. I doubt it'll be Brave, or Brave Sword. Uh, the thing with like the Gen 1 armors is that they're kind of irrelevant now, like scoring wise, because units like Itsuki and uh, what's his name? Astram, like they already score higher than him. And like, so he's not and he's a freaking armor, so it's really annoying to use him now, and it's not even worth the score anymore. But I'm sure a lot of people already have him plus 10 is the thing, uh, because because of like old scoring. So this could be like pretty decent. Uh, this does let him use uh, a 240 SP seal slot instead of forcing to use a 300 SP seal slot to maximize his score. So I mean, even though like he's outclassed by a few units, he's definitely. I'm sure like not many people have like. You know, max out score for all their bless, uh, all their seasons or anything. So, still pretty welcome, I'm sure. Uh, next, we got Donald. This is like one of the big ones because, like, there aren't many infantry lance options in the free to play pool, three four star pool, and like Donald has a, like a pretty decent stat line. So, like, people have just been waiting for him to get some sort of refine that would just help him a lot more in any mode he uh, plays in, like. Uh, especially AR because he can like do like a super tanking thing pretty well things like that so yeah uh, we'll see what happens hopefully it's something that could work in I don't know I expect something more mixed phase oriented orientated since his stat line is more on the balance side kind of uh, yeah really exciting uh, I don't have him built personally but I know a lot of people are waiting for this so that's really uh, really good and also speaking of uh, Clarice, like I know I have a couple of friends in some of my friend groups where uh, 
like they're super diehard like Clarice fans or some. I don't know, they have like plus 10 decked out Clarices and they're just like sitting here waiting for like a really good weapon. Um, so yeah, like Sniper's Bow this is going to be great. Um, since so, since she's like basically an assassin, I'm expecting this to have like a sling, sling effect for starters. Um, I doubt it'll have the Panic Smoke effect. Maybe it will though. It's a completely different weapon though, so we'll see. Um, yeah, I hope it's not, again, it's not something boring just plus a bunch of stats like Rebecca got. Granted, Rebecca's is still pretty good. Um, but still, I'm really inter interested to see what they could do here. Maybe like a lull would be really good or like, I don't know, fire sweep effect, like to go along with the fact that she's an assassin and attack before they can get noticed. I don't know. Yeah, so there's a lot they can do there. All right, uh, and some other minor updates. We got some healing tower upgrades, which is more annoying than anything, but whatever. But I guess it was bound to happen. Uh, more music. Uh, I don't know English song. T I don't know song titles that much off the top of my head, other than like Three Houses. So uh, I'm not sure what exactly what all these songs are, but they're probably good. The <laughs> uh, owner strike. Yeah, that's whatever. Nobody cares about those. I don't think. And Hero Girls are finally getting Iago and Minerva, so that would be really cool. Iago's like going to be pretty interesting to see in Aether Raids. Uh, defense comps. Uh, maybe even offense comps. And Minerva is just an all-around good unit, so really happy to the people who are waiting to build her. So yeah, overall pretty solid stuff. I mean, it's the typical stuff we always get, but you know, the, the refinery lineup is really good. Uh, with this, Mer, uh, I believe Sacred Memories is covered other than uh, La Rochelle, so perhaps she'll be coming soon, which will be really cool because Ivaldi really needs a refine as well, so yeah. All right, so thanks for, thanks for watching this video. It was really quick. Um, let me know what you guys think of the refines, if you're excited for any of these uh, uh, ephemeras or uh, that's what they're called, right? I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> or any of the weapon refines. Yeah, uh, so... If you enjoyed this, leave a like, whatever, comment, all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. Peace.